What's up, Watch Flyers? David here. Today we're going to talk about the best methods and strategies to use your Amex airline fee credit. Filming this in December of 2019, so if you still have your Amex airline fee credit, make sure you use it before January 1st. And if you're not familiar, Amex offers four cards that offers the airline fee credit. It's the Platinum card offering a $200 credit, Business Platinum giving a $200 credit, Amex Gold $100 credit, and Hilton Aspire giving a $250 credit. And currently at the time of filming this video, there are nine airlines you're allowed to use the airline fee credit for. You could see the list on the screen right here. But if you haven't chosen your airline credit, your airline for the credit yet, you have to do so before the end of the year. Otherwise, you lose the credit. And you could either go online and go to your account and pick your airline for the credit for the year and it's set for the year, or you could call a representative. But a lot of people have said that they are able to change the airline through throughout the year depending on which representative you get, but this is definitely kind of a hookah YMMV type of thing. Hookah is when you don't get the response that you want, you hang up, call again, and your miles may vary. And if you've used your airline credit already, put it down in the comments below how you've done it. I think it could help out the community and let us know uh, how people are using it. All right, let's get started with the list of things you are not allowed to use the credit for. So for years, gift cards have been allowed. They're not allowed at the moment. It's been against the terms of service for a while, so Amex kind of gave us a gift but those are not allowed to get the credit. No upgrades, no mileage point purchases, no mileage point transfer fees, no duty-free purchases, award tickets, or airline tickets. And this kind of disappoints me. I really wish that Amex would broaden the category of what is allowed for the airline fee credit because with gift cards no longer being allowed to get the credit, I think a lot of people have no use for the airline fee credit. Obviously, Amex wants to make it as difficult as possible to redeem this credit because if you don't don't redeem it, it's more money in Amex's pocket. Now let's go over what you are officially allowed to use the airline fee credit for. So you are allowed to use it for check baggage fees, including overweight or oversize, itinerary change fees, phone reservation fees, pet flight fees, seat assignment fees, in-flight amenity fees, which include beverage, headphones, blankets, pillows, in-flight entertainment, but excluding Wi-Fi. Reason why is because Wi-Fi isn't a airline purchase, it's because it's a third party purchase, so that's the only reason why. And airport lounge day passes or memberships. So looking at this list, it's a little disappointing because Amex really wants you to fly in order to take advantage of the airline fee credit. A lot of these things on the list, you can't really do at home or passively without flying, such as the example of using gift cards, which was allowed before. So those are the official non-uses and uses for the credit. Now I'm gonna go more into the gray area where sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So if you decide to use any things on this list, make sure you proceed with caution, knowing that it may not give you the credit for the transaction that you make. First is the American Airlines Admiral Club's food and drink purchases. So if you go to the Admiral Club, which is the American Airlines Airport Lounge, and they offer food and drinks that aren't included in the lounge access, but you have to pay for. So according to the research that I've done, th those purchases are actually from American Airlines and, and sometimes Amex has been able to give the credit for those purchases. I've done a lot of research and I couldn't find any data points saying the same thing about United Airlines uh, lounges or Alaska Airlines Delta lounges. Uh, so if you know anything about that, any upgraded purchases or anything from the lounges, put it down in the comments below. Next is American Airlines 500 mile purchases. So for elite status with American American Airlines, it requires gold and platinum elite members to use 500 miles to request an upgrade to first class on flights over 500 miles. These certificates can be earned or they can be bought for $40 and these $40 purchases for the 500 miles have triggered the credit for Amex sometimes. Now I know I mentioned that gift cards are not allowed, but there is this little loophole of how to use gift cards with Delta. So if you make a Delta airline purchase and you add a Delta gift card with the purchase, sometimes Amex doesn't see that it's a gift card and that it is part of the transaction, the overall transaction. So that could be a way 
to get some gift card credit, but it has to be with a airline purchase, uh, airline ticket purchase in order for that credit to be triggered. Also, according to my research, that any flight under $99 has been reported sometimes to trigger that airline incidental fee credit. So if it's on American Airlines or Delta or Southwest or JetBlue and the uh, cost of the flight is below $99 or $99 or below, so I guess below $100, then that could trigger the credit as well. So any of the gray area methods that I just mentioned, if you've tried it or heard of anyone actually being successful with it, put that in the comments down below. I'm really curious. And if you want to watch the best ways of how to redeem Amex points for travel, you could click this link over here or this link down here, and I'll see you in the next video.